So, hi Steve, happened? nice to see you again. Hi Kim, how's everything going? Uh, you know, pretty good. And I, I want to apologize for spelling your name wrong on the YouTube. <laughs> it's S-T-E-P-H. E-M. E-M, yeah. Stephen. Hi. Yeah. And uh, we're here today at YouTube, or YouTube. We're going to be on the YouTube, but we're here at View Towers today because Stephen, you and I talked yesterday about... You and your partner talked a lot about how you love your home. Yeah, you know, we've lived here for 17 years now. Uh, we used to live out of Prospect Lake, actually. And we came into town um, because basically having moved out of there, we were, we were going to be going in other directions. Um, yeah. So we were living in town. And then Bev had some, uh, some medical issues. So we needed a place that we could just curl up. And we looked around at, at different places. And this was great. It looked at the time like there was going to be an opportunity that if we moved into here, that they might be condoing the building, in which case we'd actually be able to buy a, a unit, right? Cool. And, um, and so that, that for us would have been fantastic. What well, with it having a, a sauna and a whirlpool and everything else, right? So we moved into here. I, and this, is like an, this building is like an entire neighborhood. There's 357 units in here. When you think about it, 357 accommodations, that's about the size of James Bay. Yeah. Right? That's a full-size community. There were a lot of older people in here. There were some people who were who were druggies and, and the building did have a bit of a reputation. Yeah. I uh, I actually was uh, was attacked in this building once by, by a gentleman with a knife that I had to uh, look after. But um, apart from that, basically we really like living in here. Yeah. Okay, Bev's church is the uh, cathedral right over there. Her father used to work where that uh, building is now at uh, SVDP for a while. <laughs> and and uh, basically I was christened in Christchurch over here. So for us, hmm. you know, to all of, this is home. Yeah. Right? Apart from the fact that I have a spectacular view. Yeah. You know? But sometimes despite all of those benefits you look at, at what we have around us okay I was involved with uh, with Bob Cross when we did the Victoria Street Community Association and that brought to my attention the problems with homelessness in Victoria and at the time View Towers was part of a solution for that right they the, there was outreach um, Peter Hammond was, was very good with that, okay? But, by the same token, there were issues with the building that just never seemed to get resolved. You know, it was... Uh, this building wasn't painted until the city of Victoria actually forced them to complete it. Okay, we had... Uh, in the stairwells, I... We had a fire in the building and I had to carry a gentleman down. Um, and the uh, and the fire department actually gave me a commendation for that. That was kind of cool. That's cool. And yeah. and we hosted people here once when there was another fire, and they couldn't get downstairs because there was so much smoke. So we brought them all into our unit and taped all the windows off and everything, and then put them all out in the balcony. <laughs> but uh, it was it, it there was a strong sense of community, but at the same time, the building had to be forced to. Uh, to do things, okay, and that, that was a problem with senior management, okay, there was, uh, in those stairwells, okay, when you went into the stairwells, because junkies would get into the stairwells, yeah. um, they, there was blood all over the place, um, excrement, uh, they would urinate in there. And we, can we clarify too that the, the phenomena of how we had more people in the stairs whenever there would be th things like, uh, I remember when the needle exchange closed. Um, homeless people uh, had less places to go to and then the housing crisis got worse and there were more homeless and it seems like people in pain who are homeless often go to drugs and alcohol because there's not a lot of you know support in the system let's face it and so we had the phenomenon on the stairs and it feels like in some ways shouldn't the city VHA the housing be partly responsible to help view towers with that well in in some ways I, I, I Maybe think you can talk about that I think that uh the Dean is doing a, a, a pretty good job trying, trying to make outreach, okay? Mm -hmm. um, as a matter of fact, I have, uh, I won a, uh, a, a lunch with, uh, with Dean 
down at the Union Club that I've got to take him up on. Um, at 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 one of the uh, one of the uh, golf the Gretzky golf events, Good and uh, and and he he does he has a, he has a solid interest in that area. Some things I don't agree with him about, but you know that's how that goes, isn't it? Okay, but he but overall he's doing a good job. But in here, it it finally took the city and Viha to force these people to actually clean the stairwells so that it it was safe on a health basis to actually use the fire escape. I mean, what what is wrong with that picture, right? Or when they went in for for the last five years. Um, this this building has been uh, just full of the sound of jackhammers and them ripping it up and they're saying well you know there was this uh, maintenance that needed to be done well yes there is maintenance that needed to be done that could have been looked after on a regular ongoing basis and they would have never got to this point if you put things off for 40 years yes you will have to take care of them and it's going to be a lot of work yeah. but that's like saying well I bought this car 40 years ago and I don't know why I should give it an oil change today. I mean, really, what sort of drug-induced fantasy are you in?